hindered polyureas. What are they? First of all, let's find out what polyureas are. Polyureas are widely used polymeric materials for coating, adhesives, and fabrics. Differing from common polymers, they can be made within minutes by mixing two starting monomers, isocyanates and amines. In the molecular point of view, the carbon atom in an isocyanate and the nitrogen atom in an amine have a very strong tendency to find each other and connect. That's why the urea bond can be formed with such a high speed. When small molecules connect head to tail within the urea bond, we get long molecular chains known as polyureas. But in hindered polyureas, a big functional group, we call it a hindered substituent, is attached to the nitrogen atom on the amine. This induces an opposing effect. While carbon and nitrogen still love each other, the fuzzy hindered group does not like to stay too close to its new neighbor and wishes to push it away. So this hindered urea bomb forms and breaks quickly, reversibly, and repeatedly. Therefore, the polymers formed with the hindered urea bond can also go back to monomers, reversibly. The reversible property caused by the hindered group actually enables many new applications that traditional polyureas can't do. As a processable thermoset, hindered polyureas can be used as hot melt structural adhesives, which have previously only been realized with thermoplastics. Hindered polyurea materials are also self-healable. When damage occurs to the materials, they can spontaneously reattach and recover their original mechanical strength. Since hindered polyureas can transform back into small molecules, the material is easy to be recycled and reformed. Thanks for listening to our story, and material science and engineering makes it possible.